Okay, good morning. It is September 28th. We're officially calling this our two months on Optavia. It's day 63. Just wait in. I'm down 177, which means I have lost a total of 22 pounds on Optavia and 28 and a half pounds since I came back from my class this summer and took a look at the pictures of myself in this here outfit. So it's not the most form fitting, so you can't really, I don't know. I, I see everybody in their little sports bras and it's a lot easier to tell how much weight they lost, but I think this shirt's kind of hanging on me a little bit today. Um, I'm still gonna wear it because it's my shirt. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm super excited, 177. The weight's been coming off a little bit slower lately, you know, so. I was kind of thinking it was going to still say 178, but it was really nice to me. It gave me a whole pound, right? It's been kind of trickling down and half pounds, but not even like half pounds a week, like half pounds every couple days, you know, so still so much faster than any other program that I've ever done. Um, I got to get up early today and get my blood drawn because I forgot last week. So that's a lot of fun. I'm going to make a bunch of peanut butter and chocolate waffles, probably my mocha shake to start with, and uh, maybe some mashed potato grilled cheese in there. Could be just a favorite stay. I do like that. Okay, this is one of those days where I feel like all of the soy estrogen has kicked in and I'm nesting. I know a lot of you will just say it's this giant boost of energy, but I kind of feel like it's a little bit of both. So it's 12 o'clock, I get up at seven, I went to the doctors and got my blood drawn, I went food shopping after that, came home, made a test for one of my classes, um, updated my video blog, and I made this gorgeous paleo spaghetti squash um, buffalo chicken casserole. So that is exciting. I, uh, I got my water here because we're a little lacking on that today. And then here is one serving. You can Google it. It's called, I'll give it to you. <clears throat> Sneak preview recipe from Julie Bowers Paleo Cookbook, Buffalo Chicken Casserole. So delicious. And it's chicken, vegetables, a little bit of mayonnaise, and a lot of hot sauce. So I think it's a perfect lean and green. I hope I'm right. All right, I'm going to take advantage of this gorgeous day and this gorgeous amount of energy. I'm going to run over to my dad's and wash my car because it currently has been a target for lots and lots of bird poop. Sad. All right, I will uh, keep you posted. I can't believe it's been two months. <clears throat> so here we are, the end of day 63. It was a super productive day. I took my lean and green that I showed you earlier and I went over to see my dad. Um, my mom is on a golf weekend, so I had to wash my car. So I ran over to see my dad, but he was like, get out of here. <laughs> I finally get to be in my house by myself. No, he didn't say that. But I was like, okay, I'm just here to wash my car. Uh, so just talk to him real quick, wash my car real quick, was in and out, <clears throat> came home, had the dark chocolate shake, um, played around with these videos for a while. They take a lot of space. Uh, yep, yes they do. Uh, I lost the first week as a video, I still have all the footage that I have in Google Photos, so I'm, I'm still playing with that. I'm trying to fix that. I'll figure it out eventually. Um, I uh, made the cheddar biscuit with a little extra egg and a little extra cheese for dinner. And then I made the peanut butter and old brownie into a big waffle and ate half of that for our, my fifth fueling tonight. So um, I feel great. 
I can't believe I've been on this program for two months. Uh, the results are amazing. I still have a long way to go, but I'm, I'm, I don't feel like, I don't feel like, oh my God, poor me. I've been on this diet for like two months. I haven't had Chinese food. I haven't had pizza because yeah, those things are true, but I have had peanut butter brownie waffles and cinnamon waffles and chocolate shakes and grilled cheese sandwiches and you know the little if you've ever done the whole 30 or tried to go paleo that's so much harder to try to figure out what to eat for three meals a day so because i've done those things i do have some you know the paleo meal meals basically make lean and greens so the casserole I made today with the, the ground up turkey and the, the buffalo sauce, a little bit of mayonnaise, all mixed together with a ton of vegetables, you know, a sixth of that is a perfect lean and green. Um, so I don't know, I feel like, I feel like I've been training to be on Octavia up till this point and now I'm here and I'm finally having success. You know, I was going through some photos, trying to clear up some space and uh, whew, I don't know, you just get really heavy and you just don't let yourself notice that it's gotten way past the point where it's okay and you're, you're really starting to hinge upon your health, not just your physical attractiveness. So I'm glad we're doing this and I hope we keep it up for the next couple of months. Thanks for watching.